Hey everyone, I'm going to show you guys what's in my purse real fast. Sorry if my voice sounds like terrible, I'm actually a little bit sick right now, but I'm just going to show you guys what's in my purse. I think this will be a really fun video because I literally just switched out my um, purse. I had like one that was getting really disgusting and I had like so much food and like crumbs in the bottom of it. It was disgusting. I don't know why, I just always like to keep my food in my purse with me just in case maybe like I want some later or something I don't know but it was like disgusting so for this new purse I completely vowed not to ever put food in it because it's a really nice purse I actually got it on sale at Burlington Coat Factory for $19.99 and it's an XOXO purse so that's what it looks like it's really big I like big purses it says XOXO right there there's like a zipper here and then I love the handles. They're, they're two handles and they're braided. I think it's so pretty. And um, when you open it, it's so huge. It's like you can fit anything in there. This thing is humongous. This is what the print looks like inside. I, I don't like the print actually at all, but I like the outside of the purse, so I don't really care. And then inside the purse has a couple pockets for like your cell phone and stuff. And then um, like a pocket right here where I put like um, liquid things just in case they open and the back is just plain it looks like this so I'm gonna tell you guys what's in my purse the first thing is there's like a little pocket and and that's where I put like my pens and my pencils and stuff I have these cute little number two pencils that are me mechanical but they're like really tiny <laughs> and then I have one pen I also carry with me my cell phone and this is like the crappiest cell phone I don't know I guess it's okay it's just like the cell phones that came out now like the iPhone I really really want it. It's like so cool that I can do so many things and I like the whole app thing. This one is just like a boring old phone. You know I like this typing thing so if I was to get an iPhone I would definitely have to get used to the typing on like the touch screen. I'm like a pro with this type of typing like I could type you anything in like less than 10 seconds like a paragraph. I'm like really good at this this uh what is it QWERTY? I don't know what it's called. Two year planned so I can't you know get a new phone for like another year but whatever if I was to get a new phone me and my boyfriend really want the HTC Evo we really 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 want that one because it's better than the iPhone everyone just thinks the iPhone is like amazing but actually the HTC Evo is a lot better so me and him want to get that one I also have this and this is my iPod touch and it works kind of like an iPad you turn it on and you can like still do all the apps and stuff you can listen to your music I got this coach cover um, at uh, one of the malls I went to, I think it was Potomac Mills. So I have two of these in my purse because as you guys know, I absolutely love these and it's the Rose Salve um, Lip Balms and it's for really anything like your elbows, your lips, your face, your knees and that's what it looks like. This stuff is my favorite. I have probably gone through like 15 of these in my entire life. I just, I have to have them. It's like my favorite thing to put on my lips and I put it on like every like two hours or something because my my skin is really dry and my lips get really dry really easily so I like to um, re reapply this like every couple hours just to keep myself moisturized but I really really like these these are my favorite lip balms of all time and I also have a cute little mirror in here I got this one from forever 21 a couple years ago but I just like hearts so I had to have the mirror and it has two sides always gotta have a mirror in your purse because a lot of times you might have like a booger in your nose or you might need to like apply foundation on your pimple because it's showing there are some serious emergencies that I have had and I'm so happy that I had this with me so I could like check it out but yeah definitely need a mirror in your purse I only have one more tic tac no <laughs> I always have tic tacs in my purse because it's like a like a breath mint like a refreshener and I always like to have breath mints after I eat also I don't know why but it's like this thing with me if I don't have something to get the taste out of my mouth after I have a meal I I feel disgusted like I have to throw up so it's like I always need to have gum or a tic tac or some kind of candy that will get the taste of the food I just previously ate out of my mouth because I hate that so I only have one more of these left but I really think tic tacs are a good thing to have in your purse and I have this and this is a hairband and I did a video on this before but a lot of times I have really bad hair days like my bangs will start curling really badly if it's really humid and it's raining outside and when that happens I just kind of put this on pull my bangs back and put my hair up in a ponytail and it's like a lifesaver and you can also use it as a rubber band too if you double it up and then I got my keys 
I got sunglasses. Even though um, it's winter, I still feel like I need them sometimes when I'm driving. I drive a lot because I go to see um, my boyfriend Matt all the time and I pick him up at work a lot and sometimes it's so sunny I can't even see and like my visors on my car suck. Like they, they don't cover anything. I think I'm too short so I'm like all the way down here and my visor is like all the way up here. I'm like, oh great, now I can't get the sun out of my eyes. Like completely useless. So I always have to have sunglasses with me. That's what they look like. I like the bigger sunglasses and I always like to get like a square shape. I don't like the round shape and I don't like aviators at all. I think they look terrible on me. But okay. Then I got this for only one dollar at Bath and Body Works. It's the Bali Mango Body Lotion. It's really tiny but my hand, actually I'm going to use it right now because my hands get so dry and this stuff smells really really good I love this smell but yeah I only got it for one dollar so I mean I think it's a good thing to have in your purse especially if you have dry skin like me like a lot of times I'll just be going somewhere with my boyfriend or something and then I'll realize I'm like ew my god my hands are like cracking sometimes my hands even split because they get so dry so it's nice for me to have lotion and then I also have this in my purse it's the aquaphor healing ointment and I use this on my face because my skin gets so dry sometimes that it like peels the makeup off like especially my chin area and it's a little bit embarrassing if I'm like going out somewhere you know like gonna meet people and then all of a sudden I have like freaking skin hanging off of my face this is like a lifesaver I use this I just pat it on and then I pat concealer over it and it it looks a little bit shiny but it's a lot better than having skin hanging off of your face so definitely a big lifesaver for me if you have dry skin and then another thing I have that's been really handy for me is this mirror and I got it from Estee Lauder. I think it was like a free gift because I purchased something um, over $50 or something like that. I got this a couple years ago but it's um, a mirror that holds a brush in it. Isn't that pretty cool? I think that is so cool. So I just take the brush out and sometimes if I'm in the car I'll tease my hair and use this to look at myself. And I probably use this every day when I'm in school because a lot of times I'll go into the bathroom, I'll go to the bathroom and I'll look in the mirror in between classes and I'm like, ew, oh my god, my hair looks terrible. And so I just use this to tease my hair a little bit and then I go straight into class. And it's nice because this teases really well. It's got like little, little teeth. The last thing that I have in that huge compartment is my e.l.f. pressed powder. Um, the only reason I have this is because it's cheap. Um, I would normally put like a really good powder in my purse, but I don't want it to like explode and then all my money will be like wasted and then my purse will be like disgusting. I would rather have a really cheap one that works okay, um, that I can just throw in my purse and it can get beat up and I don't really care. But this one's nice because it has a mirror. And then I'm in the color sand, so it's like a light color. And then on the bottom compartment, it has like a little um, sponge thing so you can apply it to your face so I don't have to bring an extra brush with me. So this has been handy for me. I use this a lot when I, my face looks a bit shiny, and I'll put it on, and it'll kind of um, mattify my face. So, I mean, it's cheap, but it works pretty well for being cheap. I also have gloves. I got these from Matt's mom. I also have this Estee Lauder Hydrationist um, Maximum Moisture Cream. I love this stuff because it kind of works like um, the way I would use this Aquaphor. I put it on like dry spots on my skin. Aquaphor works way better for me though because my skin is that dry that that works better for me. Um, if I use this, I'll mostly use it in my under eyes because they, they peel throughout the day sometimes. So this is great to just kind of pat on there and the, the dryness will go right away. So definitely like this and it's cute and little so I can just throw it in there. I'm gonna go over lip glosses and lipsticks last because I have way too many of those but in the pocket that has like all the liquids in it I keep my tampons. These ones are the best ones by the way. The the um, the Tampax Pearl. These are my favorite. And then I have my inhaler because I have asthma. <laughs> I only get asthma when I laugh really hard which is really weird. I have this Nectarine Mint Pocket Back antibacterial hand gel and I got this for 75 cents. It smells really good. I like to have antibacterial because before I eat I like to use it um, I don't know just a lot of emergencies. When I go to the bathroom in public places I just don't feel like washing my hands. Like I'm one of those kind of girls I'll just walk out because I don't feel like I don't know it's like such a hassle to wash my hands so I'll use this stuff and it gets rid of all the bacteria and you don't have to go through like washing them and then sitting under the dryer for like five minutes waiting for your hands to dry. I just like I just like walk out I'm like yeah because I got one of these so also have this hairspray I feel like every girl needs to have hairspray 
in your purse because a lot of times you will have static hair, you'll have flyaways, or your bangs won't be working with you anymore. This is a big lifesaver for me, the Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play Hairspray. And get the little travel size one so it won't take up too much room. Then I have this concealer, which is really old. I need to switch it out. But it's in the color Light Medium, and it's an all-make concealer. And it's just kind of like one of those things that's really nice to have in case, like, you have a pimple that's trying to come out. Then I also have this little perfume by Benefit. And I have a couple pieces of gum. Trident gum is my favorite. I like the flavor gums. And I have a couple tissues. But, yeah, so that is it for that. The only thing that's left to tell you guys about is all of the lip glosses and lipsticks that I own and I'm gonna go over all of them because I'm pretty sure you guys are curious which ones are my favorite and which ones I like to keep in my purse at all times oh I also wanted to mention I don't have a wallet I don't know why but they just cause like a hassle for me when I'm trying to pay and I have to open up my wallet and it takes up so much room I'd rather just like like I have this pocket right here and I keep all of my money and credit cards in it because it's so nice to just unzip it grab what I need and pay so I, I never have wallets so yeah just want to let you guys know that. But okay, I literally have so many lipsticks and lip glosses. This is a cute little bag that my friend Mary got me. She's a YouTube guru also. I'll put her link down below if you guys want to check her out. But yeah, I am in love with this because it's such a cute color. And also it holds a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to go over these quickly. I have two Rimmel lipsticks. One is in Summer Angel and one is in Spotlight Beige. I'm not going to swatch these, but this is the Summer Angel. And this is the Spotlight Beige. They're just nude colors. Love those two by Rimmel. I have the Burt's Bees uh, Moisturizing Sun Protecting Lip Balm in Passion Fruit. I really like that. I hate, absolutely hate, the Burt's Bees um, Mint Lip Balms. I think they taste disgusting. It makes me want to gag. This is the only one I'll ever use from Burt's Bees because I like the flavor of Passion Fruit. I have this lip gloss in Mimi by MAC. It's the Hello Kitty one. I have this lip gloss by Too Faced. It's the Glamour Gloss, and it's in the color Pillow Talk, and I'm wearing that today on my lips. Where is it? Too Faced Glamour Gloss. I have this lip gloss by Victoria's Secret. It's the Lip Lacquer, and it's just a red color, and it's in the color Chic. I have this lip gloss by MAC, and it's the Luster Glass, and it's in the color Cinnamon. This is great to use over like nude lipsticks. This lip gloss by Revlon, and it's their one of their new ones, and it's the Color Burst in Crystal Lilac. I like this one. Three gorgeous glosses by Marc. I always have to have these in my purse because they just look so natural when you wear them. It's the um, I have the color Lolly, Bear, and Bella. So there are those the gorgeous glosses. I absolutely love this stuff. It's a warm apple cider and it's by Hemp's and my friend Mary also got this for me and um, it's from Trade Secret and it's just like a really pretty light pink color that I can wear over nude lipsticks. So then for my lipsticks all I pretty much have is nudes like a nude pink or just like a nude color and um, this one's by Revlon and it's in the color baby pink. Looks like that. My One of my favorite uh, pink uh, lip lipsticks. I have this one by e.l.f. and this is um, what is this called? Natural Nymph. Love this one for a nude color. I have this one by e.l.f. also and this is in the color Runway Pink. This is another really good light pink color. I have the color Femme which I'm wearing today by Victoria's Secret and it's their matte lipstick. And Lastly, I have this one called Hue by MAC, and it's another good um, nude lipstick. So yeah, I don't know why I, the only lipsticks I really own are nude colors and pink colors. I have branched out, I, I do have lipsticks that are reds, berry colors, brown colors, but for some reason, for me, I feel like natural, like nudey colors look best on my face, or on my lips. Anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you later. Bye!